Hey there, my name is Katie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you follow me, you know that I typically start videos, Hey Media Male Gang, because I typically talk about reselling used books, ephemera, bookmarks, things like that on platforms like Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. However, also on my channel, I sprinkle in some videos talking about reading and writing because those are also my passion too. So this is one of those videos where I am reviewing a book that I recently read. So essentially I picked up Tabitha King, who is, you probably know her husband, Stephen King, and he is an author um, of horror and all the things. And I'm obviously a Stephen King fan. I picked up Tabitha's book, uh, not necessarily because I wanted to compare her to her husband. I think that's important to point out. I picked her up because I don't have a lot of thriller and horror female authors that I've read. So I was really, really interested in the fact that she does a similar genre to her husband just happens to be, you know, a circumstantial thing. I wanted to read a female thriller horror. Um, female written thriller horror. So this book is The Trap and I will give you guys a synopsis. Uh, on the back it says The Violators, which that should have been my first red flag. <laughs> there were three of them breaking into the isolated main cottage where Livia Russell had fled with her four-year-old son to figure out why her marriage had gone wrong. Three animal-like youths burning with lust, bent on destruction, and totally without conscience. Now they held her child as hostage and her in their power. And even she could not guess how far she would submit to survive and how far she would go to triumph in a winter world where the last shreds of civilization had been stripped away. So in reading the synopsis, I should have kind of uh, taken the hint that trigger warning, there is definitely assault in this book. Um, I really, really don't, I try to even avoid it in movies, which it's really, really common in, you know, horror genre for unfortunately, whatever reason. Unfortunately, the whole assault thing was just kind of, while it's a small part of the book, it just, it really does like give you just yucky feelings in the book and then it just gets even harder to kind of get through it. Um, you have admiration for the character though because she does go through a lot mentally and physically with these weirdos um, being stuck in her own home during a winter storm in Maine. Um, I've never been to Maine. Living in Michigan I can only imagine what their storms would be like compared to ours. Um, I would imagine it's similar to like the Upper Peninsula in Michigan where like they're getting 12 feet plus of snow. Um, this also takes place in like, I wanna say 80s, 90s-ish. So there's no cell phones. So just a lot of different things like technology wise that she doesn't have that probably this book would have been totally rewritten differently if she had had some technologies. Overall, I would probably give this book like a three and a half out of five. And the three and a half is because the concept was good. Um, the terrifying idea of being in your own home and home invasion, like that whole concept is is scary. That whole concept of like having the one place that's supposed to be safe for you, which is your home, being like violated. Like, yeah, that's that's scary, that whole concept. Um, so her whole premises around that was really well thought out and written. As far as the character building, it was there, especially between the main character, Livia, and her husband. You kind of understand like why their marriage is having difficulties, the, the character building is there. You understand Livia and you understand her husband and you understand like the weirdos that break into her house, but it's like, I don't know that it took two thirds of the book to get there. I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, my other complaint is frequently throughout the book, her husband is like a um, screenplay writer for movie and 
you're frequently going back and forth between like the actual story and her husband's screenplay a little bit like some parts of the book are just his screenplay uh that was really really confusing for me it wasn't engaging i didn't really care about his movie his movie was like supposed to be like an action movie or something it wasn't it just wasn't entertaining it wasn't engaging it made no sense to the story like unless it was supposed to be like a bunch of metaphors or explaining like him as a character which him as a character is irrelevant because Olivia is the main one and at the end of the book like I, I don't know it's just the screenplay I felt like didn't really need to be there overall three and a half for me um probably closer to a three let's be honest this is probably closer to a three uh you know obviously a lot of trigger warnings in this book from assault to drug use but definitely just a lot of trigger warnings with this one um i don't know it just wasn't my favorite and i think that it's going to cause me to like not be super crazy about reading any more of tabitha's work but I'm trying to give some grace because I don't like all of Stephen King's books. <gasps> yeah, I said it. I don't like all of Stephen King's books. There's some of his that I just feel are weird or don't make any sense or I just didn't like the story. I didn't like the, the story that he threw together. So the only other book of Tabitha's that I have is what's called Small World. This is probably the one she's most known for, I think. This one I'm going to check out. Again, it's the same kind of red flags though because the back says sex and evil that packs a punch. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna like this one either. I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. On this one, I might totally love it. And if I do, or even if I don't, I will drop a video and let you guys know. The Trap by Tabitha King. Here is the book for you to maybe check out. I don't know if it's available on like platforms like Kindle or ePublisher, but um, definitely, you know, if you don't mind some of those triggering things, definitely take some time and check out her work and let me know what you think. Or if you've already read this, what, what did you think? Have you read any of Tabitha's work? Did you even know that Stephen King's wife was a writer? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.